Encounter with Jesus Number One Welcome to this Encounter with Jesus Program Number One A space to get away from the world and to enter into the presence of the Lord In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen Jesus tells us in his Gospel, where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there among them. With humility, we then collect ourselves in the presence of Jesus to share his word and his spirit, which explains to us the Gospels. Testimony Dear brothers and sisters, it is by the grace of God that we have gathered through these means to open our hearts and receive the blessings of our God. My name is Jose Belmore Arias, born in Armenia, Quindio, Colombia. I spent most of my life in Australia. I recently returned to my homeland. A big event in my life happened about 28 years ago, and so it happened that in a space of two years I lost three loved members of my family. First my father, who accidentally died, two months later my brother, who was 33 years old, he died from pancreatic cancer, and then my mother, who was alone because I was in Australia while my two brothers and my sister were in the United States. I decided to go back to Colombia to accompany my mother and to enjoy her company. Six months later, after being back in Colombia, my mother died of sudden death. These three big events of my life made me think a lot about my spiritual life and my relationship with God. I started asking myself questions like, who am I, where do I come from, and where am I going to? My life as a Catholic had failed for many years. I found myself going only to marriages, first Holy Communions and funerals. I had little time to attend Mass on Sundays, so I auto-justified myself by saying, I do not steal, I do not kill, I am a good father, good husband, all is well with me. I tried by all means to get closer to God, and I served the way because I entered the New Age beliefs, transcendental meditation, yoga, gurus, etc. This led to the decline of my marriage because my wife, a faithful Catholic felt bitter about my new beliefs and she separated physically from me for I slept in the bedroom while she slept in the lounge room. But I began to pray the rosary, first alone and then with her. Things began to change. I asked the Blessed Virgin Mary to give me the light of the Holy Spirit to see clearly the truth or falsehood of my life. Thus it was that one morning while at work a light came into my heart so clearly that it lit my conscience. At the same time I felt how sin separated me from God. I understood what was my mistake and my sin. In a fraction of time I saw everything with clarity of spirit. My main sin was pride, the fact that I left the true religion to participate in the table of demons with beliefs that taught me to raise my ego and myself like God. I said such things as, I am, I am the divine love, and other statements that in my pride declared that I was like God, that I was only dishonoring his holy name. So I left my job at that moment. Thankfully, I was self-employed. I went home and said to my wife, 
I've come to burn all those books that you hate, because I understand that they are poison to my soul. I don't want to know any more about those things. She was very happy and helped me to get rid of that trash literature. Then I took out several sheets of paper and filled them in with all the things of my life. I made a careful examination of conscience in which I repented for all my sins, and the next day I went to a general confession. I cried many tears of repentance during my confession, tears which lasted about six months. They were tears of repentance. I would burst into tears just reading the Bible, praying, receiving the Eucharist, or thinking about how I had offended God. Then an opportunity presented itself to me to go to Melbourne, a city about one and a half hours away from Sydney by plane, where I lived. There was a retreat in a Marian center. During the first Eucharist, I cried a lot, and I could hardly receive the Lord because I felt a lot of guilt in my soul. Then a lady came to me and gave me a card. She told me, I received messages from the Lord, and He said these words for you. You are my son of blessing, so worthy to be at the table of your Lord. This encounter with Jesus gave me a lot of peace. And two days later, the retreat ended with the blessing of the three bishops and ten priests who were there. They went out into the field, gave their blessing to a replica of the church of Medjugorje. All people started to withdraw. I looked at the sky and saw the sun dancing. I shouted, look at the sun, it is dancing. People looked and rejoiced in that celestial phenomenon. Then I saw the face of the Blessed Virgin Mary in heaven. It was a face of great beauty. Clouds formed her face in a clear, perfect and heavenly way. Her head was tilted to the right and her mouth was the sun. I wonder why is the sun there? How good it would be if it moved? I forgot how in the Apocalypse St. John had a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary in heaven, clothed with the sun. Then the sun began to move down, but the jawbone of the Virgin Mary also moved down, and it happened slowly until the mouth of the Virgin Mary looked totally open, and I was afraid of my sight at that moment. Then a ray of light descended upon me, it took the form of a cone of light that enveloped me about three meters around. The real world disappeared from me. From the sun, thunder and lightning started coming down. There was plenty of light. I felt that the Virgin Mary spoke to me in my heart and said, I am the mother of grace. I am giving grace to all those who love me. And so it was, for the first time in my life, I heard this heavenly voice. For a week I felt as if I was drunk. My tongue was heavy, but I was filled with the Holy Spirit. From that moment on, I have been receiving messages from Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and God the Father. My life was completely transformed since that day. I go to daily Mass, pray the Rosary, I do other devotions to the Lord's Passion and devotion to the Divine Mercy. I am also very devoted to the Word of God in Scripture. It is worth mentioning that I didn't shed tears when my brother, father and mother died, but I cried like a baby for my sins. This celestial encounter has moved me to pass my experience with the Lord to others, which for over 18 years I have done through my website 
theworkofgod.org. This spiritual transformation has also motivated me to create prayer groups, to give talks, reflections, etc. In the city of Armenia, Colombia, we have an encounter with the Lord before the Blessed Sacrament every Thursday. There we do worship and talk about the Lord. In the Church of San Francisco, we meet after 8 o'clock Mass in the morning and at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Heart of Mary at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Everyone is invited. We are singers. Lord, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You see our lives in an instant, and you know our mistakes. Forgive us, Lord. Have mercy on us, who come before you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, forgive us and give us the grace not to offend you again. Mary, most blessed mother, pray for us. Praise the Lord. Lord, we bless you and we praise you for your presence on earth. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, truly present in our Catholic Church through the priesthood which gives us the sacraments, these personal encounters with you. Enoch praises God, saying, Blessed are you in your greatness, O Lord, great and mighty King, King of kings, God and Lord of the entire universe. Your power, your reign, and your greatness endures forever. Your domain for all generations. The skies are your eternal throne, and the earth the footstool of your feet forever and ever. Because it is you who has created and who governs all things, no work is difficult for you. Wisdom is not far from your throne, and it never leaves your presence. You know, see, and hear everything. Nothing is hidden from you, because you see everything. Worship the Lord. Holy Virgin Mary, Most Blessed Mother, we worship the Lord with you, with the angels and saints. Purify our souls in your holiness, your innocence, your purity, your piety and devotion, your humility and your fears. Take us by your holy hands to the Lord. Crucified Lord Jesus, forgive us our sins and those of all mankind. With fervor we raise our souls to worship you. You have entered us through the Holy Eucharist. Now let us enter you in your spirit, in your holy wounds, blood, water, pain, tears, and anguish, and also those in the Blessed Virgin Mary. Holy, 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 you are holy, holy of holies, name of names, spirit of spirits, Will of wills, power of powers, King of kings, Lord of lords, wisdom of wisdoms, love of loves, peace of pieces. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Protection and deliverance. Lord Jesus, forgive us our sins. Cover us with your most precious blood. Cover all those who hear these words. Break all present or ancestral curses that exist in our lives. Break every chain, tie, spell, deceit, and all wickedness of the devil. Seal us as your own property and unite us to the power and grace that is in the Virgin Mary, in St. Michael the Archangel, the saint of this day, and all the saints. With the Virgin Mary we say, Who is like God, who lives and reigns on high? With Moses we say, Lord, 
fight all our fights and win our battles. With Joshua, we say, We in our house, we will serve the Lord. We surrender completely to you, Lord. Take care of everything. Invocation of the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fire of divine love. Embrace my mind and my heart with your burning presence. Come, Holy Spirit, divine breath, put me in your presence of light. Penetrate every cell of my being and turn your bright light. Dispel the darkness of my soul. Divine splendor, heal me of my spiritual blindness. Open my eyes so, so that I can see with the light of your vision. Shine your light on my way. Let me see as you see. Holy Spirit, living word, fill me with the fire of your word. Make it burn my heart with your wisdom and your knowledge. Show me how you see me and show me how you are. Teach me all things. Divine fire from above, anoint and cleanse my lips that I may always speak holy things. Fiery darts of wisdom that penetrate the hearts of those who hear me. Anoint my mind and my body to glorify you with thoughts, words, and holy actions. Talk to me, Divine Spirit. Speak through me. Move through me. Make me your instrument. Divine Flame, embrace my whole being with your burning fire. Melt the ice of my coldness and indifference. Fill me with the seraphic spirit of worship. Celestial breath, breathe your presence in my whole being. Saturate me completely. Enter me. Let me enter you and be one with you. Sanctifier Spirit, destroy all my sinfulness. Blot out all my iniquity. Cleanse my soul with the living water of your grace. Destroy the aridity of my soul. Transform me into a fountain of living water flowing for eternal life. Spirit of holiness, Go through every cell of my body, mind, and soul. Purify and sanctify. Spirit of the Father and the Son, destroy the old man in me. Make me a new man in your image to start a new life in you, in peace, love, and joy of your presence. Divine Helper, Comforter Spirit, help me to know and to do your divine will. Act in me. Think in me and show yourself to me. Holy Spirit of God, possess me. Take me to your holiness and your glory. I am your temple. Dwell in me and do not leave me alone. Amen. What is an encounter with Jesus? The most beautiful thing that can happen to any soul is to meet Jesus. He is our Creator, our Lord, our King, our God and our Savior. Our life has its first encounter with Jesus in our baptism when we become part of Jesus and enter into His mystical body, the Church. In this first meeting, we are dressed in His light. We receive grace and forgiveness of our sins. We become Christians. All the sacraments of the Church are encounters with Jesus, who is truly present in the sacramental action administered by the priest. Without the priest, we cannot meet sacramentally with Jesus in the Church. For this reason, we must have great respect and appreciation for priests. They are faith-filled men who have given their lives to the Lord and to us in His Church, men whose dignity before God surpasses all human dignity, because during the consecration of bread and wine, they make us transcend time and eternity, as they concede through their hands and their words, Jesus crucified at the altar.
The Holy Mass is for this reason the favorite encounter with Jesus for a good Christian, since he is truly present in the liturgy and the Eucharist. Apart from these sacramental encounters with Jesus, from our childhood we have had the gift of prayer whose effect is to put ourselves in God's presence. Prayer must take different attitudes to have greater benefit for the soul. The first prayers must be of repentance, because that way we always come humbly before the Lord. A humbled and contrite heart is never despised by the Lord. In all these prayer meetings we must express our praise, which elevates us spiritually, exalting the infinite wonders of our God. We must also make many prayers of worship, where we join the Blessed Virgin Mary, the angels and the saints, to let our souls burn with fervor, and they can ascend the Spirit to the presence of God in the highest height, in His light, majesty and glory. We must also make many prayers of thanksgiving to express our appreciation for the infinite benefits we receive from our God. And we cannot miss the prayers of intercession, which are very powerful when we join them to the blood of Christ, especially during the offering of the Holy Mass. Prayer is fuel for our faith, and it keeps it burning, keeps us away from evil, protects us from the devil, and keeps us in the presence of the Lord. Finally, we must do many prayers of reparation, which are very powerful when we do them before the Blessed Sacrament, in which we find the Sacred Heart of Jesus open and waiting for us to enter into it with our reparation, not only for our sins, but for the sins of all mankind. Constant prayer, as recommended by St. Paul, is a constant encounter with Jesus. It is a way to express our trust in God and to love Him above all things. Prayer also gives us much food in the form of devotion to Jesus and Mary, as well as the saints. These days the Lord has given us strong weapon against the spiritual ills of humanity. It is the recitation of the Holy Rosary, where we join our Blessed Mother Mary and meditate on the life, death and glory of Jesus and also in the mysteries of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We must not seek the Lord only in times of need or suffering. We must always seek Him only for the fact that He is God, worthy of all praise, worship and thanksgiving. For Him all the power, the honor, the kingdom and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Word of God Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark Chapter 10, verses 46 to 52 What do you want me to do? And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a very great multitude, Bartimaeus, the blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging, who, when he had heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, began to cry out and to say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him that he might hold his peace. But he cried a great deal the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus, standing still, commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of better comfort, arise, he called you. Who casting off his garment, leaped up, and came to him. And Jesus answering, said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may see. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you whole. And immediately he saw and followed him in the way. 
Inspiration of the Holy Spirit from the Sacred Heart of Jesus Gospels Explained by Jesus Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Can you see how easy it is to ask for my compassion and how I am always ready to respond? I told him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, Rabboni, that I may see. I said to him, Go on your way. Your faith has made you whole. And instantly he recovered his sight. First of all, this man has recognized me as the son of David. He has believed in the Holy Scriptures, in the promises made to the people of Israel, and has given credit to my mercy and my power. He has recognized the promised Messiah, and despite being blind, he used his voice to call my attention and benefit from my gift. When someone invokes my compassion, he not only obtains what he needs, but the rays of my mercy envelop his body, mind, soul, and spirit. I know the pain, the wounds, the resentments, the sin, the needs of each one. My wish is to heal and to bless all those who come to me with faith. My mercy is infinite and very easy to receive, but it is obtained according to the faith and hope with which it is requested, since I reward the humility of everyone who calls me. One of the gifts that my Father has given to everyone is suffering. Without it, human beings would feel themselves in a paradise that would not have a connection with God and they would never feel fear of offending Him or the need of finding Him. Suffering came to the world as a consequence of sin. It was well that in my mercy I opened the eyes of many blind people, but it is even more important that each one opens his spiritual eyes to see the way I see. This way they can know me and live in my presence. Many have the notion that miracles do not exist. Many discredit the Holy Scriptures, denying them. I assure you that miracles continue to occur daily as a reward to faith. If someone comes to me with faith and confidence in my power, I will respond to him in accordance to the will of my Father who wishes the salvation of all his children. Many don't obtain what they wish, but I assure you that all prayers are listened to and there is always an answer in connection with each petition. There is more joy in giving than in receiving. I feel great joy being able to help a soul that comes to me. I rejoice in humility and repentance. This is why I don't judge but understand human misery. I wait eagerly that every soul leaves the ways of darkness and comes back to my light to obtain the benefits that my mercy wishes to grant. Healing Prayer Brothers and sisters, lift up your hearts to the Lord. Close the eyes of your body to open the eyes of the Spirit. Let's pause right now and leave everything behind us. Let us gather all our problems, anxieties, needs, ill health, weaknesses, also our financial situation. Let's bring our family and friends who are also in need of prayer. Holy Father, Good Father, Loving Father, Daddy, thank you for the gift of life. Thanks for all your daily blessings. Give us your paternal embrace. Cover us with your loving presence. We open our hearts to feel your light, your inspiration, your advice, and your blessing. Do not let us out of your hands. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving us the Father's love, your love, which you manifested by your death on the cross. We recognize that you are our Lord, 
our God and our Savior. Lord, forgive me all the sins of my life. Go through all my life, blessing and healing. Heal me from the moment of my conception. Bless my parents, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, and all my predecessors. Go through my life with your love. I put my life in your crucified body, into your holy wounds, blood, water, pains, tears, and anguish, and those of your Blessed Mother. If you want, you can heal me, not my will, but yours. Lord, take care of everything. Blessed Mother, intercede for me before your Son and offer him your holy tears. Co Redeemer of the world, our sorrowful Mother. Lord, I love you, I need you, I bless you, I praise you, and I adore you. I leave my knees in your holy hands. Take care of everything. Cleanse me from every stain. Purify me. Sanctify me. Heal me. With the Virgin Mary, the angels and the saints, I bless you. I praise you and I adore you. Blessed be the Lord. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning. It is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We thank the Lord for all His blessings and ask for His protection. You are cordially invited to our next encounter with Jesus. May the Lord bless us and keep us. Amen. May the Lord shine His light in our soul. Amen. May the Lord fill us with His grace. Amen. May the Lord show us His face, give us His holiness, and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>